Do you know MIS is the only discipline in the business school that provides students with opportunities to learn both traditional business subjects such as finance, marketing, accounting, management, and so on, and information and communications technologies. As you know, information technology is any technology, not just computer technology, that is used to collect, store, manage, process data to generate information for decision making. On the other hand, wired and wireless computer networks, such as cell phone networks, are the examples for communications technologies. Then what is MIS? MIS stands for Management Information Systems. MIS is concerned about how to use the existing computing infrastructure and available information and communications technology in business to provide better uh, customer service. For example, see how easy it is to order or return on Amazon.com and to promote efficiency in conducting business processes. For example, you can file your tax return electronically without traveling to a post office. To expedite time to market, consider the speed of developing and marketing new products and services such as gem boxes, tablets, and mobile phones, and to provide better products and services to customers. Just compare Google Maps with old style paper maps. What would you learn in our MS program? I just want to answer the question by explaining three major areas of learning. First of all, data is management. Data is like blood in everyday business activities. Businesses generate and consume trillions of bytes of data every day. We need to make the data accessible to business activities and also let them add, update, and or delete the data if necessary by separately managing them in the central repository of data called the database. In the course, you will learn how to design, manage, access, and manipulate data and databases. Second, systems analysis and design. Oftentimes, businesses develop software systems for themselves or for their clients. In the case of technology companies, to do that, they must identify system requirements and then design the system based on the findings. In this course, you want to learn how to collect system requirements and convert the requirements to blueprints for software systems. Last, applications development. Unless it is implemented as a working system, a system blueprint becomes useless. And data is integral part of any non-trivial applications. Currently, MIS program offers two applications development courses. One is Visual Web Programming, which is for developing websites using ASP.NET and C Sharp. And the other one is Advanced Applications Development, which is for writing job applications and Android apps. Then what about job prospect? We have been through a tough economy for the last several years. And as a consequence, many UMD graduates have grappled with finding jobs. However, the job market for MIS graduates has been great. Almost all MIS graduates were able to get jobs at various kinds of companies, such as 3M, Thomson Reuters, Best Buy, Target, General Mills, and many more. MIS graduates start their work as entry-level programmers, software designers, database administrators, network administrators, project managers, business analyst, and so on. I think that's all I have now. If you have any questions, please stop by any MS faculty member's office. Thank you.